Okay, it's day one of the Offspring Tour. We're in Canandaigua in the CMAC, uh, which is a kind of amphitheater type thing, which given the fact that it's really, really raining outside, it's kind of useful that it has a roof over about half the menu. So uh, hopefully that's going to push everybody towards me as well. Um, and yeah, I arrived in the USA yesterday, been picked up by my friend John Berner, uh, who's tour managing me for the tour. It's John Berner. John, John, <laughs> yeah. talk to the camera. Haven't met the Offspring yet, uh, or the Dropkick Murphys for that matter. But uh, they're both playing tonight, so hopefully I'll meet them later on. Uh, it's going well. Jesus motherfucking Christ. <laughs> okay, John, show us where our dressing room is for this evening. It's, uh, where would you expect it to be? It'd be the women's room. Oh, look, it's not just the restroom. <laughs> it's the ladies. How do you feel about that, John? I love ladies. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to our dressing room. This is the inside of the woman's bathroom. And uh, I've never, you know, as a guy, you don't go into kind of the girl's toilet very often and you have kind of images of what might go on in there. And I've had many different ideas of what would happen in the girl's bathroom in my life, but I never thought that it would be like this. <coughs> Where did they piss? Um, so yeah, it's half an hour till stage time at CMAC with the offspring. And for the first time in ages, I'm a little bit nervous. And that's not because it's a massive show or whatever, although it's pretty big. Um, it's more just that um, I don't know what to expect from the audience. And usually I have some idea of what's going to happen. But today it could be anything from half an hour of piss, rain, fury uh, through to half an hour of roses and weeping in, in the aisles, and uh, I really don't know. So here we are, Canandaigua, Can Canandaigua, Offspring Show 1. So. Okay, it's day three. Day three. three it's day three. We've just left Donnie's house. Donnie was the best. Um, and we're driving towards Niagara Falls and then the Canadian border where we're going to have fun arguing with immigration patrols. Um, our plan at the moment, we've been discussing this all morning, is that we're going to drive through the border at 80 miles an hour without stopping, guns blazing, and uh, then we'll be in Canada. We're crossing the Peace Bridge. We're heading into Canada, but right now we're on an area of land that is in no country. It's not even land, it's a bridge. We're free. We can do anything we want. We can rape, murder, and pillage with impunity. Um, we can uh, watch 18 DVDs when we're only 16 years old. Um, we can, you know, just drive without our seatbelts on. Whatever we want to do. This, is this, ladies and gentlemen, is what liberty feels like. And coming up ahead is Canada, which is slightly different. We made it. We made it through the fucking border, and we didn't have to pay any tax duties. We basically just smuggled a hundred and... how many? About 160 CDs. No, no. <laughs> My numbers were buffed. Oh, okay. Well, we just smuggled a whole ton of merch into Canada without paying any import duties on it. We're fucking criminals. We're really doing it. We still it. have to get through the toll, though. Oh, shit. Right, I'll shut up. I love coming to America. They've got all this crazy, amazing stuff that we don't have back in the UK. This thing. You look into it, and you can see stuff that's far away. Like, it's really close. It's amazing. It's fucking Pennywise sound checking in Toronto, Canada. How do you feel about that, John? Nah. Ah, oh, what an idiot. <laughs> this is the arena for today. <laughs> Boom. So we're in Toronto, Canada. Uh, we've got a little balcony for our dressing room today, which is an improvement on the girls' toilet. Um, and uh, there's water, there's geese, uh, there's a place for me to have a nice lean, I like a nice lean. Um, I'm going on in about 20 minutes, I've never been to Canada before, this is my first ever Canadian show and I am looking forward to it. 
You know what little kids really like? Like, real little kids? Titties. Hey, we're in Toronto. Still on our day off. And uh, the situation is deteriorating rapidly. Uh, John and I are now going to go underwear shopping together. Wearing men's briefs is like having a little midget just hugging you all day long. And through the night, they keep you warm and happy. We went to American Apparel, and I bought myself Y fronts, or American Briefs, as they're known in this country, Canada. Um, and I've tried some on, and um, I'm now I'm debating how I feel about it. And uh, I'll let you know in the next update. Wouldn't Frank and John up for this tour? Not sure why. They're generally nice guys, but they kind of make a mess, and it's, it's really it's a bad scene. So my advice to you. If you're out of town that's on their itinerary in the future and somebody calls you up and says, put them up, they're great guys, run away. <laughs> My day has been calm and relaxing in Toronto. It'll be very sloppy and you think I'm slurring bad now. Wait. It's gonna I'm get gonna ugly. film the shit out of you <laughs> later on. <laughs> Alright. Where's the wisdom for the day? All girls are sluts. Give them a thousand dollars, they'll do anything. Okay, we're somewhere between Quebec and Montreal in French Canada. Everyone speaks French, it's slightly weird. Um, and I've succeeded in finding fake problem! Whoa! Oh! Hey! What are you doing here? What are you, is this Canada? Yeah, this is just hanging out at the truck stop in Canada. Yeah. Sucking cocks for spare change. It's pretty good. Yeah. This is Derek from Fake Problems and I'm gonna punch him in the dick. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Where were Last night, this morning? I where did, did some fucking. <laughs> Frank, where'd you find your shoes this morning? I found my shoes in the fucking cupboard because I'm a polite house guest and I put them in the cupboard before I went to sleep. <laughs> um, I've never done this on a stage before and I may well fuck this up royally. <laughs> So there were these girls, well, people, girl, I... Hold on, I'm just starting again. So there <laughs> Frank Hurdler is the best rhyming motherfucker that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Fucking brilliant! There it is, United States of It's Raining. What? Um, you, you nipped out, they had a meeting, and uh, it's changed now. Canada was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, Toronto, Quebec, and Montreal, and I'm definitely looking forward to coming back again. Uh, but now we are re entering the land of the free, the United States of America. It's 9 a.m. ish in Albany, New Jersey, and I am still drunk. It's 9 a.m. ish in Albany, New York State, and I am still drunk. What fucking state is this? Fucking state am I? I'm Alfie. And I'm James. And this is your house that we just stayed in? Well, yes it is. Mostly. This is Alvin's house we stayed in last night. What did we do last night, Alfie? Drank a lot. How do you feel about living? I want to fucking hang myself. Good evening, New Jersey! How do you That's the pizza. We got beer and pizza. We're in Brooklyn! We're in fucking Brooklyn! Brooklyn, baby! Brooklyn. Beer, pizza, none of this will ever be seen. The wide front years are over. I'm going back to boxer shorts. Sorry, John. You'll be uncomfortable. Guarantee it. <laughs>
Um, yeah, I've been wearing them for a few days now. Not one pair, I should add. But, um, and uh, it's it was fun. You know, I enjoyed my time. But uh, is it like a little man hugging your balls? <laughs> Not enough like a little man hugging my balls <laughs> to make me like keep doing it. The glamour, the glamour of the dressing room. Two chairs, a table, and some plugs. Rock and roll. Rose Ballroom. Oh no, where the fuck are we? Yeah, Rose. Cool as fuck. Well, I'm out here a thousand miles from my home. Walking around with many men gone down. Say something nice about Frank, all of you. He's Frank is a guy. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck Frank, he's a bunch of shit. <laughs> Day 93, we're on a roof in New York fucking city in Manhattan. It's my boy Arthur. Arthur! Yeah! <laughs> so we're getting laid later. Uh, uh, so we had the show with the offspring tonight and it was a fucking victory show. That's what a it was. Damn, a damn straight one. It was a goddamn victory show. Basically, um, I'm pleased with life today. <laughs> you know, we had a fucking so great show. Frank. It's not a fucking bad life you've got, you Turner. You know what? I ain't complaining. This is me. This is my not complaining face. New York! New York! <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks. Hoboken, New Jersey. DCs. I just got socks. Socks? Socks? Someone just brought me socks. Me and Frank got socks. Hoboken, uh, at DC's Tavern. And uh, it's my secret show. And there's some people here. Um, <laughs> that's how good I am at keeping secrets. Welcome to a show that isn't really happening. <laughs> yeah, we're scared we might be letting someone down. So, come on! Nothing's really wrong! So, uh, this is us ignoring Frank. Smoking cigarettes. Cigarettes are more important than you, Turner. 505. This is Joe's house, and I think we've killed Frank. Good evening, Massachusetts. How are you doing? Staying with my friend Matt after the show in Lowell, Massachusetts. And uh, Matt's a uh, promoter for this neck of the world. Um, and he suggested at about 6 o'clock today that we should do another show at his house. Um, and I said, yes. Three members of the So we did the show at Matt's house, this is Matt right here, and um, three quarters of motherfucking compared mm -hmm. were at the gig, and I played some songs, and they listened, and um, I'm so fucking excited and happy about that, that I feel like changing into some bass drivers and paying myself. Not only did I do this arena show, I also then got to meet some of my heroes today. And I couldn't really be happy about this. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is the king tide in America.
That is the single worst thing I've ever done in my whole yeah, life. So, it's the next morning. We're still at Matt Pike's house. Um, Matt lives in a lovely house, in a lovely neighbourhood that's right next to the Atlantic Ocean. So we just went down to the sea, sat around for a bit, had a coffee and a bagel. And uh, I'm totally moving here. <laughs> and, uh, life doesn't really get much better than this. Jessica, the masseuse in the backstage. Someone's gonna get a massage. I mean, who wouldn't? We're in Philadelphia, and this shit is crazy. Hey, Philadelphia! Once I finish saying my shit, I'm gonna unplug this microphone and we're all gonna sing this last song together without a microphone, alright? Yes! So this song's called The Bell to Me and My Friends yeah! and it's the last one. Try and do the whole tour without having to stay in the motel and pay for it. But uh, here we go. Oh, Clipping oh. your toenails in a comfort inn. Yeah. Did you ever think it would come to this? Have you seen the shower yet? Uh, yeah, it looked like a giant face. Sarah Jessica Parker's face looks like a foot. Look at your foot and then look at a picture of Sarah Jessica Parker. That's 46 miles from Whiteville. <laughs> We're in fucking Mother Beach! Mother Beach, come on! You're great! You are great, man! Come on, Someone tell, suck. Someone tell me I suck! Someone tell me I suck! You suck, but not really! Do you enjoy the show? Yeah, man. Fucking high five! High five! Yeah, fucking little shit! I feel like Bono from U2, this is fucked up. Wisdom is a fleeting thing. <laughs> it comes and goes, and then before you... Oh, ketchup. ketchup, lots of ketchup. Ketchup and lots of it, please. Look, it's Orlando, Florida. Gross. I need to piss a lot. So, we're in um, Orlando, Florida. We've just finished um, meeting with shit out of Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. That was Ricky fucking mouth. I beat his ass. And uh, now we're gonna drink some um, some, uh, some, uh, some duck butter. Duck butter. <laughs> duck butter. <laughs> duck butter. <laughs> duck butter. <laughs> That's what Michael Jackson calls semen. That's right. Let me get it. How did this happen? How did this happen? 
<laughs> so here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the Offspring's dressing room. You know what they say about American beer. What do they say about American beer? It's like making love in a canoe, right? <laughs> Fucking close to water. This is Todd. Hi. <laughs> Tell him what you think of Frank Turner. Who's Frank Turner? <laughs> Talking with the Offspring. Thanks, nice, guys. Nice. Nice. Hey, you know what? We love the size of your backline, buddy. <laughs> That's what all the guys say. <laughs> Do I rock out of yeah. 19? Yeah. Wow. 20. I've been filming this entire offspring video, and there's one person who keeps shying away from the camera like a little flower. Flower. But now the Maybe flower's we'll time has come. Mark. I enjoy you very much. <laughs> I enjoy Every you in the morning. Oh, how I much do you enjoy, enjoy me in the evening? evening? How do you enjoy me in the middle of the day? Not so much. You know what? Frank Turner's words of wisdom. People are cunts. You're English, you're refined. We're now in uh, Pompano Beach, which is near Miami, in Florida. It's gonna be the last show of the tour, and it's time for one last dressing room checkout. Today, we have got a small cupboard next to the stage, and I am happy. That said, there is only two of us. Um, I've got a desk, and uh, John's got a desk. With one pen and there I have my food made in the <laughs> You know what I've got, John? You want to know what I've got? I've got Playtime, which is the uh, South Florida's fastest growing adult entertainment guide. In my, <laughs> my desk and my Playtime. No way. <laughs> that is a storm that is moving visibly quickly towards us on a stage which is outside. Right, it really is the end of the world right now. John's got two beers, so end of the world, not such a problem for him. We have sinned and we are about to be punished. People running away from the storm. I know people running into the venue. Jeepers Mary, there's a storm coming! This is now a proper fucking storm. I'm flying out of here tomorrow afternoon and uh, I've had a really fucking great American tour. Thank you guys for coming out. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we've played to a lot of people, we've been to a lot of places. The beginning of the tour feels like it was about 14 years ago. Uh, and it's intensely hot down here. But yeah, I'm really pleased, and I'm quite pleased I'm going back to London tomorrow. How do you feel about it, John? Work sucks. I got to meet Frank Turner. That's all I care. Oh, he's I awesome. heard that guy's a dick. Yeah. He's not. No, he is not. I met that guy one time, he was a fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> he's a sell-off. Come on. Remember that time when we were in Canada? <laughs> Uh, remember that time when we were in uh, New York State? <laughs> uh, remember that time when we were in New York City? Yes. <laughs> I've learned many, many things, most of which is don't drink tequila with Todd from The Offspring. So there it is. You filming me, you fuck. I'm the best drummer you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> it's our last morning. I'm very sad to say. We're at John's brother's house, there's John's brother, and um, uh, we're, this whole business of rock and roll, it's all a scam, we're basically in it for the money. Uh, John, I'd like you to count me out a thousand dollars. Alright. Take the money, take it, take it, take, it. take the money, take the money. John just asked, when are we going to learn that when we have shit to do in the morning, we shouldn't stay up drinking? Mr. Burner. The answer to that question, I hope, is never. Well done, America. You rose to the challenge. You didn't win, but you tried. <laughs> <laughs>